Now, observations, although one's a bit different than what NASA is trying to accomplish there, have been a popular topic. In light of that, Rochester's connections to some old spying technology is actually back in the spotlight. Meteorologist Liam Healy went to Rochester Museum and Science Center to learn more about some declassified history. The world of international espionage isn't always how it was portrayed in your favorite James Bond movie. Most of it happened well above our heads, and in some cases, not too far from home, according to Dr. Calvin Uzelmeyer. Gambit is actually the camera system that launched within a spy satellite, and it was all developed by Kodak. One of those modules now lives in the Strasbourg Planetarium, honoring Rochester's role in what was then all kept under wraps. It's really important to be able to highlight the amazing work done by our neighbors, by our families. These are people that we knew about who maybe they couldn't talk about this kind of work. During the Cold War, uh, when those ties were cut off and we needed to know what was happening around the world, the Gambit was one of our ways to be able to get eyes on the rest of the world and understand what was happening. According to Dr. Uzemeyer, while not everything has been declassified so far, what has been speaks to just how good these cameras were. We have some photographs on display here where you can actually measure the distance between antennas to calculate the frequency that that radio was broadcasting at, which allowed the United States to jam it. And while today sharing images is as simple as sending a text. We didn't have Wi-Fi, so you couldn't, you know, beam those images back down to earth. That film had to be ejected, collected in the nose cone, ejected, it fell back down to earth. Bombers would deploy out of Hawaii and pick these up with grappling hooks from underneath so they could be sent to Rochester to develop the film. So while you might often think you have Rochester figured out, there's always something more than just meets the eye. Reporting of Rochester, Liam Healy, News 8.